click down buildings, what do they do to you? These and Venomous Volley, I guess, on Dusa is the only one that kind of what to do. Oh my god, Katomi? top lane. Katomi, he's just dead. Soxa with an early wind lace just runs it. You know, the pros have been dabbling with him this tournament. You know, maybe he's finally at that point. I think for the most part, it's like we're in a oh, bottom lane save. Super dead here. One more auto attack from White Mon's going to do it. Again, hit. Maybe just stepped up a bit, a bit too far. Well-timed cast to get the Lotus. And the Lotus is very important to get when He's you play. Back. He's not letting you run away He's from this one. He's got the Lotus. <laughs> oh, didn't use it in time. Uh, he's, there's no way. He's getting out of that one. Yeah, the Lotus is very good to get when you're against the Visage, but also... Oh, that's a nice skewer. The dead, dead shot. shot. The dead shot. He's almost into the tower. It was so close. You still managed to get the kill, so... It's a one for one trade, but at least for Tundra's sake, Miro does go down first. They're not done. They want to threaten Pure here. He does have some more stick charges. The cast. The oh mats. my god. He didn't get the Janata off because of that. Otherwise, I think that. So you can make plays with a Storm Six, but. It really comes online once you have track. So if you take it slow, get more points in track, Miero tries oh, to dodge with the tree. Very nice dive here, but the TP is coming through, and with Kiyotaka, he doesn't actually have the Sonic Wave, but they pull him right back in. They get the kill, and now looking for more. He gets level 7 with it. They can test the rune if he doesn't have enough. Yep, and with the re supports rotating in, they will go ahead, and now with the haste rune from Soxa, gets on top of Kiyotaka, but you have to be careful. Sonic Wave is still available. 14 wand charges means he's perfectly healthy here. In top lane, they're going to go for a dive onto the Medusa. This is going to be the, the familiars coming out from the Visage, finding a really nice kill, and White Mon just bringing the army. Yeah, they'll just do a little poke. For so, now. one thing to note, like Chen with the familiar. Oh, he gets oh, stunned! All right, he's going to make it through the twin gate. Never mind. He's not. he's not making it through the twin gate. A dead shot from downtown, and Pure will be credited the kill. Very nice call, uh, play there from Katomi to being Bounty Hunter. Nightfall up here. Oh, Pure. It's the finished defusal. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's the defusal Ursa effect, right? Like, this is why we see him go this build. He is a thousand gold up on the Medusa, and it's just gonna get worse. He's actually gonna go back for. He's actually gonna go back for a Battle Fury, which I find surprising. I think he could just go for the early blink here, and just play aggressive with his team. But maybe a little bit worried about Bet Boom stalling out the game. There's a massive stack here, and they are bringing the numbers. Thirty-three with the familiars. Looking to get on top of Kiyotaka. He drops one, drops the second. He gets the hand of God, but he still might die. No, just barely survives. Well played there from the side of Tundra to push them off these stacks. And I'm curious if they can actually finish these up. Like, Lornov should do this pretty easily on the Storm. And yeah, he's got it. A lot of gold being denied from the side of Bedboom now. Looks like there's an RP in the bottom rune, though. Oh, okay. Calling to follow it up. There's no enrage on the Ursa. Nicely done. Actually, again, not even super happy. Miro, his blink is coming up soon, but still RP on cooldown. Arcane Rune on the Storm. They will find the mag, and he's going to go for the Skewer. Perfect interrupt off the Vortex. And a kill into Lornov once again. Ooh, only has four galvanized stacks, but they've got a ward onto the high ground. A great dead shot into a double fear. He's just stuck here. He can't get out. Sonic Wave to finish the job. As Katomi ends up dropping the death ward, but there's a ton of creeps here just soaking it. As this calling has just made it impossible for Tundra to actually get into this engagement. That's the Dance of the Dead Facet doing a lot of work there. Increased duration, extra spirits, big stuff. Oh, they've caught the Chen as well. I mean, there's no way White Mon's getting out of this one, right? I'm surprised they're sticking around so they long on Tundra. I, yeah, I mean, I mean they're, Storm it's... just respawn. 
I guess they were hoping for the storm to re... Mira is going to go to the same build we've seen on the Magnus a little bit. The blink into the Aghanim Scepter. They know Visage is up here. They're going to see him for the second. 33 in a decent spot. The RP does come out. The Familiar is actually catching Katomi, but the Skewer pulls him right back in. A nice grab here off that blink RP. Not the end of the world for now. Tier 1 mid. Ooh. Skewer back into the silence. We saw a very sick combo from save earlier. Oh, has an Atos too. I have a feeling that bounty is dead. Going in here to try and find some vision in the enemy triangle. Gets punished for that movement. As pure of kind of effective HP against this Ursa's defusal. As Katomi will walk in, ends up scouting the whole enemy team. An immediate Ato stuck inside the silence on the Storm Spirit. Deadshot pulls him in again. He's got to get out of here. He will barely dodge the Maledict, and that might be enough to save him. But Storm's going to go in aggressively. They finish off the Witch Doctor. Blink to safety from Kiyotaka. Just kind of even, at least for the cores. It's mostly this Chen always for Whitemon, who just seems absurdly farmed. The Ags reveal out from Miro. Gives him the horn toss, takes down Soxa once again. Held the Sonic Wave too long. I actually, I think if you waited just, because I think Ursa was still moving back from the dead shot, oh. but then he got pushed by the ultimate back we'll away from the silence. That is a nice kill. Yule's out to find the bounty hunter save, trying to close the gap here, maybe set something up. For this Queen of Pain, Miro on the backside. The familiar drop. No way. 33. Just barely. Fairly long spawn, two minutes. At this point, the Medusa will have the damage to take it. It'll be much slower than Ursa, Horn but it, it is a viable option. Great Orchid. They got the Magnus. He's taking a ton of damage here, but is it going to be enough to save 33? He's got the stone form available. And now comes the Ursa. Stone Gaze out from Pure. He wants to try and finish this Visage, but... He needs help, and it's going to be in the form of Katomi or Kiyotaka here on this Queen of Pain. Lorna looking now for save on this Muerta. Do they have any ways of turning this one around? For now, Atos jump in with the fear. They got him. Can they finish the job, though? They get him with the Maledict, but there's not enough follow-up. Nightfall looking for an opening into this fight, but they will just back away on the side of Boom. Don't want to risk any more kills here going their way. Right before this Roche fight happened, guys. Make sure you're following the channel. Oh, great Atos. The silence once again. Holding the storm back. Miro goes in. He gets the horn toss onto 33, but he's got the stone just storm to buy him some face. There's going to be the stone gaze as well. Can they actually buy themselves some time? A super long duration Witch Doctor Death Ward just bouncing around. So 33 still lives through this all impure. He's down, falls at the front side here. Atos managing to hold the Storm Spirit a little bit longer. They're just surviving on a sliver of HP. Four members of Tundra with almost nothing left in the tank, but they still survive this fight. It's Whitemon with this Hand of God doing so much work. And go set up for Roshan, I imagine. They did a quick trip to go heal up. Yeah, you need to get the silence on 33 so he can stop using the stone form. And this is a perfect example of that. He is stuck inside of the calling. They're trying to finish the job. Will he take down to the Maledict? It's going to be close. He gets the stone form off. Kiyotaka now in trouble. Has to blink away. In comes the Storm Spirit. Gets the silence onto the Muerta. Miro's looking for that RP entry. Tries to grab Soxa. Actually, will skewer him back into the team as save. And at this point, the RP, the Medusa, it feels like we're at that tipping point where Betboom had the better late game draft. I mean, they and know even though it's still even, that means you're getting into the late game. RP, RP Skewer, do they have the way to control him? He's just bursted on Nightfall Ursa, looking for Whitemon now as they continue the chase. Pure is incredibly strong. Kiyotaka, do they have ways of preventing the storm? He's got a BKB. He's going to turn it around, get the Orchid here onto the Queen of Pain. He's trying to keep him alive, but it's not enough. The Electric Rave with these Visage Familiars just did a ton of damage to this Queen of Pain. It's 33 trying to jump away, but they actually get a vision of him for the moment. They've got one Familiar save here with the Silence. The Pierce the Veil as well as Pure wrapping around here on this Medusa. He does have the Stone Form, but you got to be careful on Lauren of to go back in. Ooh, Merita, Merita just dies. Soxa just kills him. Hold up. You need to get out of here, Bedboom. 
Pure now in some trouble. 33 on this Medusa, just doing so much work. And there it is, the rave again. Just ripping through this Medusa's health pool and the track connects. The chase is going to be there. Katomi's going to go down, throws a cask at the last second to try and buy some space. It's still, it's such a close game. It, it's really going to come down to how, who jumps who. Do you get a good RP? Oh, Kiyotaka just blinked. He's caught, he's dead, nowhere to go. Save drops the calling to try and make some space here, but Bounty Hunter in pursuit. They might just go for the dive. I wouldn't blame them. The question is, who's gonna be there to secure it? He's gonna pop Pierce the Veil, buy himself a little bit of time here, but it's not gonna be enough. Another kill go on the side of Tundra. And those two... With that, you're gonna find out it was a practically instant roast. They're still bomb. going. They actually find Storm's Courier, but because of that, it's going to reveal exactly where they are. And Ursa, he's thinking of going in. Silence, holding him down in place. They do manage to scout him out, but Ursa, I mean, is it really the target you want to go on? Storm just zips onto the backside. They find Miro, and there's the familiar in the Storm Shard. Just deletes the hero from the game. Katomi going to drop that Death Ward, do what he can, but this fight is already over for the side of Bed Boom, but they are not done searching. The gem here on Lorna will give him the vision, cancels the Ogre Seal Totem and Pure. He's gonna have to commit that Stone Gaze if he wants to get out here, but the Orchid just traps him and that is it. Four dead, three buybacks not available. Tundra might've just won the game. To the Fountain, we, we saw this happen yesterday, but they before. are <laughs> they're positioned very well here on the side of Tundra to not let this happen. Kiyotaka, just doing literally anything he can, but the scythe comes out from Lorna. Fortification already spent. This game is over, man. Tundra just close it out. I was saying, like, say, Timber Timber earlier was fine. so good. It's fine now. In the Batrider versus Bristleback support game, right? The other facet's taken when you're more about the team fights and you want more silences there. Ooh, this dead shot puts Katomi in a weird spot. Great Burl Strike in from 33, and the Nasal Goo will slow him to a crawl. Blood it's Grenade working. out as well. Can they find the first blood? He's almost no armor. He just needs one more auto attack. It goes to Soxa. The five position Bristleback Doubters. I like this mid lane should be pretty dang good for Kiyotaka. Lornov has to rely on his... Oh, actually off the rate, off the mark with the dead shot. Pure might have died if that hits. Does he have another stun? Not for five seconds. So 33 in a pretty rough spot here. A bro strike turnaround in one. Is he going to go for it? No, good recognition for Pure. Not willing to risk this one. And Sox is coming in as well. Dead shot again oh, off miss. the mark. Soxa uncharacteristic misses just playing ping pong not in, the, not in the cogs there yeah all right very sick plays he just gets a salve delivered as well so he's gonna full heal meanwhile top lane white mon very big difference in how effective the muerta support ends up being uh, you know just getting him out of the way now he's just calibrating the the pistols bro strike in looking to finish off pure they've got him who needs the dead shot when you just click them you know the counter matchup, you try to push too hard, rotations come in, you get punished, the whole game plan's gone. So we'll see if we can thread that needle. They're stacking up quite a bit of goo here in this top lane, but Save also has a lot of Napalm stacks out, and White Mon needs to be careful bottom lane. They do manage to find a kill, but yeah, White Mon just burns to death, and Nightfall's got five stacks as well. He needs to run, he's not gonna be able to. There's a spear available, they can just walk down the Luna. And that's going to be two kills for Saves Batrider. Well, one stacking hero apparently better than the other. Bottom lane. Burrow strike in onto Pure. The Stinger's damage is a lot, and they will find the kill. 33 stuck of inside here. of the cogs, taken down by the tower. At least fine. You can very easily just play around getting, like gaining Napalm stacks as, as he's trying to build Nasal Goo. And... Being able to just kite out the bristles, way too good. Soxa stuck inside the cogs here once again. Katomi just bonking him back and forth. Gets himself his... <laughs> he's on a killing spree. Oh, my goodness. Mid lane, Kiyotaka hits six. Gets the solo kill. As now Burrow Strike comes out. And White Mon, he's abandoned top. He's like, all right, I'm tired of dealing with these heroes. I'm going to try and just run it pure. But Katomi once again with the, shot, with the cogs. Just causing so much of a headache for these guys. 
a good dead shot. Really shot. nice burrow strike comes in and just slit that. Okay. Did you manage to find the kill? Pure is pretty low as well. Gotta be careful. You wanted that Lotus, but... They saw him on the Very watcher. Dangerous. There's no way he gets it. And White Bond's just gonna stick down here, drop a deep ward, but all right, here's big bad Kiyotaka with a haste rune. Deletes 33 from the game, and he's just gonna go right back mid. If you get the dead shot back, I think that will be a kill. The slow from the calling plus the nasal goo, your drow, you're not getting away. Just like Nightfall. It's not look. They're well, bringing 33 in here, but well. I think they just have the damage to run him down. The four napalm stacks already is saved. Just going to make it up onto the high ground. Force 33 to try and chase him. White Mon can't keep this nasal goo on top of him. And... Katomi. Hookshot comes in. Nice dead shot out from Soxa as well as the calling. They should be able to chase him down here. But 33's got an epicenter waiting for an opening. For now, not using it. As Sox is trying to just lead him on in. There's your melee range epi holding that burrow strike as well. Now looking for pure is Lorna is here. Avalanche is out. The toss on back. They have the burrow strike to follow it up, and they do. Pure not gonna be able to get out of this one. Beautiful find. It does cost you your Luna once again in the top lane, but. Luna is so fast at farming that salvaging the Sand King's game. Oh god, save is here. Oh, he gets stomped by Roche, kind of slowing him down for the moment, but I do not think this Bristleback is making it out of here. This is just, this matchup seems impossible, man. I don't know. Yeah, this. Yeah, maybe you're not sure how many rotations are coming in. Uh, so. This could be a dead pure. Avalanche comes through. The calling silence should be more than enough. That shot off the mark, but bro strike to follow it up. Beautifully done. Like, just get the hairball online. Contribute that way. Socks on the bottom side of the map has nowhere to go. Nice pick up there and 800 gold till the Aghanim Scepter of this Timbersaw is done. On stacking here on the Batrider, that's something Save does a lot when he plays this hero. And there, oh, she gets blink as well. It's already done. So 14 minute blink on your support, pure bottom lane, and some trouble. But Katomi is here, gets the cogs out to try and stop 33. And yeah, it's like, I'm sure he cancels the epi here. He has no way to, to close the gap. But here comes Miro, the blink reveal once again. It's going to catch him, pops that bloodstone, but it's not enough to keep him alive. And now Soxa on the run here, caught by the twisted chakram as the timber saw just doing so much damage. A great response from Bet Boom finding net worth. I mean, yeah, that's good stuff. Pure doing some damage. I mean, where's this gonna spawn behind him? Pure. Ooh, you gotta remember the ofrenda, my friend. And just like that, they get themselves a freebie on a pure white mon. Gonna lose his life in the mid lane. Kiyotaka with the Aghanims running in. Might burst Nightfall. It's so close. He barely survives the dead shot stuck inside the sandstorm. 33 gonna pop the epicenter with that bloodstone. Try and heal through some of this damage, but again, this timber saw is way too tanky, man. The jump in, the lasso is gonna find him. Miro with the spear back. It actually cancels the lasso, giving him a burrow strike for the moment, but they will grab them kills. They will walk away. Soxa stuck inside the cogs here once again as Katomi. A little bit careful. He's going to pop the active on that reactive armor. And now, spear backs Lorenov. They're going to respect it. They've stuck around for a little bit too long. They will back. He hits you with like five or six goo stacks. You're at base move speed. You're down to 100. I'm seeing it's it really come funny. together a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. That uh, is the Luke? contribution. They actually saw Luna. Spear oh. comes out in just a moment. We'll pin Nightfall against the wall. Great catch from Miro. So terrifying. Feels like he can go anywhere he wants. Go bottom where save. Save is just really hunting this guy. Uh, Do they have detection though? All right, he he ends up walking outside of the sandstorm. Save's gonna kind of close the gap, bringing him in with the lasso. Now will the Agnums connect? It does. Oh my god, Timber saw. This guy is a ma absolute menace right now. Trying to chase down oh. Lord of. It's gonna be close. He gets him with a blink. Double kill for Kiyotaka. He is deleting heroes. The haste rune. Smoke up on the top side here from Bet Boom as Roche moves to this side of the map and Soxa just jumps in, throws that dead shot, trying to find an opening, but I think he just dies for this. 
Kiyotaka should pop him, and on the other side, they managed to trap Lorna up in the arena. He's running circles around him, but he can't escape the lasso. Two dead once again for Tundra is 33. Managed to finish off the clockwork, but you can't stop this Timbersaw, man. He is too scary. Bro, strike on in. They're going to try and find a player off this Bloodstone active, and it gets a lot done. TPing out. Going to get canceled as he can't, he can't get out. You're taking the fight without your Drow, and 33 gets a lot done. Shit. But, I mean, that boom should be able to do that. They're a, they're a high-level team. Oh, man. Lorna caught topside from the arena. Kiyotaka comes in to secure the kill, and he's just going to TP to the mid lane now. Try and connect maybe bottom with Pure, who... They do have the Blink Force on... Save here. They're going to see Soxa. Just hook shot on in. Save nearby with the lasso to help secure this one. Dr just delivers the kill to the Drower. Taka is hunting in the mid lane as well. Feeling like he could just dive straight onto White Mon, and he would be correct. Beyond Godlike, just 12 and 0 already. Both gone now for the side of Tundra Asaksa. He got scouted under a ward. The question is, will Miro find him? Well, it's going to be Katomi who finds him instead. And beautiful hook shot on in. They're going to be seeing him cancel that Ofrenda here fairly soon. Eyes on the bristle back. He gets the D ward, but save might just go for the kill. Yep, there it is. The blink, the lasso. In comes Kiyotaka as Waimon makes them very slow. But yeah, again, you can't actually get away from these guys. Kasha now done on the timber saw. Ooh, great blink out, but guess what? Kiyotaka to chase, looking for 33. The spear and the arena. I don't even know if the arena catches or if it's just the hook shot, but either way, a fantastic find. Taking down the Sand King is Paka. Okay, I was going to say you wait for BKBs, but never mind. They're just going to walk high ground. They want to try and force Tundra back. They know they're not on the map, or they're out on the map at the moment. Kiyotaka is very difficult to bring down. Up in the tier 3 tower, Lorunov looking for an avalanche toss back, but Kiyotaka playing inside the creep wave. They still managed to find and connect on it. There's the bro strike. They're trying to burst him down. They got him. Huge kill. 2,000 gold going for Tundra. Good if everyone can have it, and if more people have it, you actually feel a little bit more comfortable diving in after whoever gets tossed in, right? Maybe you buy them a second to then pop their own BKB. But that is maybe step one of Tundra making a comeback here. There's step two. Find save on the Batrider. Another 800 more, like 800 or more gold going their way. Quite a bit. So Tundra, probably not too upset. This next fight could define the game, though, and they're going to see visions of Nightfall. The Blink Hex reveal. The Spear is going to pin down the Luna, and they get her. No buyback available. 33 with a BKB. Going to pop the epicenter, but a really nice hook shot in to cancel it. The lasso as well. He needs the Bloodstone active. He doesn't get the chance to use it. Blink forward, looking for more. White one trying to TP out. Good spear from Miro will catch him. Soxa, the Hex comes out. It's a triple kill. They cannot escape. The damage from the timber is overwhelming. Oh, they're going to look for Katomi. Lornov goes in, pops the BKB, gets the kill, and TP's out. A little something to to go their way, but yeah. See if he gets to the 25 this game. That'd be a little too late. It's supposed to be between 40 and 50 minutes. Oh, toss back. They got the Batrider. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so fast. Kiyotaka actually a little bit afraid now. We'll just blink to safety, seeing that the whole side of Tundra is there. All right, Aegis gets reclaimed. They're looking for the tier two top, but 33 is also on the hunt. Gonna find Pure on the low ground. That's a rough spot to be. The dead shot connects. Fears him in a weird spot, but he gets the BKB. Mirror with a really nice turnaround on the arena, and 33 pops the Aeon disc to give him some space, but he still finishes the kill. Pure now needs to get out of here. This epicenter is just completely splitting this fight. They've taken down the Muerta. The second arena from Miro opening up this fight, but Knight falls in on his BKB. He's got Pure. He's got himself a triple kill looking for Miro, but the BKB is gonna get him to safety for now. White Mom. On. on this bristleback actually creating a little bit of chaos with this nasal goon it's gonna be kiyotaka who has to try and come in and close this kill they got him ends up being a four for three is boom it's really just the drow in the same way for tundra if you win a fight but luna drops 
probably not taking very much either. They're looking for Nightfall. They're looking Last for the Open a great Burrow strike out from 33 and save just dies back to back now. Kyotaka trying to just timber chain away, has a blink dagger in a few seconds, turns around with a hex, but instantly dispelled thanks to the Aeon disc and now 33. Perfectly fine with a backup. Hook shot on in. Traps Nightfall. Pure's getting to work. He takes him down so fast as Lord of trying to just hobble away. 33's in on this Sand King. Pops a really nice ghost up there to try and live, but Pure, he's getting some assists from this Mars from Kiyotaka, but it's not enough. The buyback in from Nightfall takes him down and now looking for the Timber Saw. They should have the damage eventually as 33. Holding off on the backside for now. Will Burrow strike on through? This Aghanim Scepter is going to do a careful. lot of damage. 33. Oh, gets away just in time. And now Kiyotaka will finally go down. A massive kill streak again for him. Two. They force out some TPs, but that's your Mars BKB at least for now. So a little bit unfortunate for a bad boom. Come on, save. They're going to find him. Lorna cuts him off. The Avalanche, the toss, and that is a lot of damage from the tiny now with that completed conda. I have a banner now. Might have two. I don't know what happened to the other one. Oh, actually, Bet Boom should have the other one, shouldn't they? No, no, no. Bet Boom lost the second. Yeah, they got both of the last Roches, so. Two banners. Yeah. Live on. Under this cover of smoke, will walk in. Get scouted. A nice Hex 33. Off the mark with a stun, but get caught by the spear. Aeon Disc again, giving him a moment to breathe, but he's trying to walk in. Pure, gotta be careful. Another zoning arena, great dead shot's gonna push them back, but the lasso, he's oh, got the refresher! 33's coming back! The damage from Nightfall's overwhelming, but it's 33 on the Sand King. Burrow striking on through, trying to finish off this drought, but they can't, he makes it to the high ground. And now Nightfall's in a rough spot. The fight going Bet Boom's way here, pure. Doing his best to survive. Lornov connects, however, off the avalanche. Walk up to the high ground, kill. finished off by the dead shot, but that's a dieback on your Luna. You gotta get out of here on Tundra. They want to finish off this game. Who did he spear? Oh, it's an Invis Tiny. He's caught him. He's got a dust up in one second, has the hex to follow it up. He just needs his team to close the gap. The avalanche looking for the TP. Oh, the hex at the last second. They got him. Four buybacks in this last fight, but <laughs> Dude, they're go just all clicking in. tier fours. All right, they get the tiny buyback. Pure. Uh, maybe a little bit careful here. Miro's in a good spot here to try and break any initiation. Smoked up thanks to this <laughs> ninja gear. <laughs> they're just going to force the, the tier four. They want to get the fortification out of them. Again, they know there's no Luna. They have one fortify. See oh, shot off the out. mark. They do find 33 again. The Aeon Disc will... Oh, it's on cooldown for 40 seconds. The Hex is there. The Lasso doing work as well. They've gotten the big kill. 33 removed from the game. White Mon trying to hobble away here as the Nasal Goo just thrown all over the fight. But Pure on top of his fire here, trying his best power? to bring down Lorna, but he's fallen low. Can they get the kill? He's going to so survive low. for just a moment, but he's finally dead. Four dead from Tundra. It is Luna versus the world. All right, get in there, Luna. Get him, boy. Can, can Nightfall do it? He's got to take down the entirety of Bet Boom on his own. I don't think it's going to happen. I need everyone to clump up for my glaives. <laughs> Drone exposed, Second. Nightfall. What are you going to do? He's got to rape your queued up like he's going to have the time to get there. They're going to jump in. They pop the X. Holding him in place for the moment, spearing him back into the fountain. This is a very slow ancient siege, <laughs> but maybe with the blink lasso, they can do it. He needs to get the BKB. He's They're gonna pop off. He this in his ground, but he nightfall. doesn't have the damage. <laughs> Eventually, the creeps will finish the job. The GGs come out.